Yo, what's really good on my day ones? Welcome back to the channel. Oh man, it's been a while since I vlogged again. I really wanted to answer this question because a lot of people were asking what I was going to do with my informatics degree in the Air Force. For those who don't know, um, I recently joined the Air Force and I joined as an ICU nurse. However, when you join as an ICU nurse in the United States Air Force, you have to do leadership positions. The good thing is I'm at a really great facility that facilitates growth for a lot of their future officers. I'm what you call a junior captain. And this is my first year in my position and I have to hold this position for another three, four years or another four years prior to me um, advancing to the next uh, pay grade. So with that being said, the great thing is about this hospital is like I'm able to speak with the leadership and tell them exactly what I want to do with my career and that's the beauty of the Air Force is you speak to uh, your chief nurse and tell them what you want to do while at the same time speaking with your upper admin and upper echelon to basically tell them what your strengths are. So how I came about this position I was speaking with our assistant um, nurse in charge and he was the one who told me that he knew someone who worked as a uh, nurse analyst. For those who don't know, nurse analysts work specifically with the IT t department to, to fix problems around the hospital or basically use statistics to better, uh, to better the care at the bedside. So uh, as a nurse analyst, you are what we call a patient outcomes expert which I am now a patient outcomes expert, subject matter expert. I work specifically with our analyst who is a major and that's one rank above me where she oversees uh, you know, the implementation of what we call MHS Genesis. MHS Genesis in the realm of healthcare informatics falls under DHA. Basically DHA is in charge of a lot of uh, the implementation of healthcare. As a patient outcomes expert, I actually am a super user on MHS Genesis and I am able to see a lot of the statistics and the charting that's being done on the back end. Now, how does this affect patient uh, outcomes? As a nurse at the bedside, you are putting in information nonstop. And with information going in and information coming out, we take care of what's coming out. Let's say for example, there was a lot of charting done on a patient who who had a pressure injury. We are able to see who has been charting pressure injuries on MHS Genesis to produce basically the ability to trace back to whoever it was who was taking care of this patient, whether it was the patient being turned and are we falling within our means of, uh, of the Likert scale. For those who don't know, the Likert scale has to hit above 85% for us to be compliant with a lot of our charting. Uh, as a patient outcomes expert, I am actually, and myself and another guy, are in charge of the ICU section. I see to it that the bedside nurses are following up with their charting, but I'm also following up to see where they're having issues in their charting. So I could better able to speak with our major to implement a lot of the changes in MHS Genesis for certain mappings of where a chart needs to be charted or where a data point needs to be charted so yeah <laughs> oh man it's like i'm speaking a different language uh, this wasn't like me uh, you know a year ago and i'm actually enjoying what i do because now i'm i could say with confidence i i mean I, i'm not gonna say confidence yet but i could say that i could work as an informaticist because uh it's a different step forward and am i loving it absolutely and you know, if it wasn't for the Air Force, I wouldn't have this ability to do this, which is amazing because now I am practicing also my nursing informatics. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you are uh, in, interested in nurse informatics, let me know what you guys are thinking down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all take care. Peace.